What is up? Wonderful world of YouTube. We're here in my office doing like a, something a little bit different on the channel today, doing a little vlog video. Right now, I need to change my guitar run strings because it's been a while and they're starting to sound like shoelaces, so we're gonna do that next. I don't know which color to pick. Uh, we got orange, we got the yellow, and we got that purple. We got two purples. I think I'm gonna go with yellow. Space, space, space. Ugh. I got like zero grip strength right now, man. I've been doing jujitsu the last couple of months. My hands, just because, you know, trying to, you know, grip and you know, pull somebody off of you who's, you know, maybe just 150, maybe, you know, 170 pounds. I'm about, you know, 190. I'm a big boy. If you don't know Super Gracie Bada Jiu Jitsu, go get some. Okay, okay. We got the wonderful, restored Star Lord, the super old Roberto Morales restored at Candela's Guitars. Super badass. All right, here we are. We got the uh, super old Star Lord Roberto Morales bass that we're gonna change all the strings with. Yeah, it's out of tune, but the strings are pretty much dead. <sighs> I think that's really bad for you, but uh, no matter. So first thing you gotta do when you're changing your guitarrón strings, your guitarrón strings, as some people like to say, you gotta detune all these. Very gently, so you don't snap the wood. Important note, when you're changing your pegs, your clavicos, do it with some care and attention so that you don't snap the wood, because that can happen, and it's not a good day when that happens. You have no idea how long it takes to get carved pegs from a shop, or how expensive they are. I kind of want to get the mechanical ones I've seen, where they have like mechanical clavicos that look like regular, but there's like a gear inside, and you can Crank that shit and it's awesome. Uh, it's kind of important to do this slowly because sometimes, you know, you see here it's kind of stuck inside the wood. You don't want to like force it out and then scratch the surface of your, you see, just like that. You want to catch it with your fingers so you're not scratching anything because there's nothing worse than having a nice finish, super sexy, and then a scratch mark. I mean, it's not that kind of party, so don't do that. Just trying to do this right now is actually a little painful on my finger joints. It's actually something that has me a little concerned, and someone pointed it out to me at a gig a little while ago, and he was just like, dude, I mean, if you're doing martial arts and you're doing jiu-jitsu again, I mean, aren't you afraid of, like, your hands and, you know, being able to play? Like, what if you bust a finger? And I'm like, yeah, that's a legitimate concern. Uh, I didn't quite know what to say about that because I do like to do the training. It's a lot of fun. Um, I guess if you're if you're training and uh, you're also playing mariachi, the best thing you can do is, unless you're you know if you're training to fight and to compete, then you're on a whole different level than I am. I'm in my 30s. I'm just training so that I can live to be 100. That's my that's my end goal. That's my life's motto: is train jujitsu, drink scotch, play mariachi, and live to be 100 eat well in between and sleep good. So I tend to save these, you know, just because they're dead strings, but at a gig, you just never know if you might need, uh, if you bust a string, you might need a spare. So I, I save them as spares. I'm almost out of coffee. I need more coffee. My preferred guitar run strings to use are these, um, oh, look at my hands are shaking. I can barely keep it together. The Selmer guitar run strings, I like these the best of all. Until you can show me a guitar run string that that's feels better, plays better than this one, I'm 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 willing and open for suggestions. But for now, this is as good as I've found. Selmer. If you guys like Guadalupe or you know Candelas, those are all fine. You know, I'm not saying that they're bad. It's just that what I like for my you know my my girly hands is the Selmers. They don't have variant tensions either. It's just one tension. It's like toma. Here, here's your string. Okay, I can I can appreciate that. So when you get the Selmers, they're not numbered, you know? So you kind of have to just know which string goes where. Uh, don't make the mistake of putting the wrong string in the wrong hole. <laughs> I'm so inappropriate, my bad. 
I put the string like not all the way through. Like I've seen some people just feed the string all the way through and then start cranking it. I don't do that. Um, so I feel like when I'm fine tuning the bass, it's a lot easier to fine tune it if there's a little bit of give um, on the on the string itself. So I kind of like guide it through. It creates a little bit of that friction on its own. So you have downward friction going towards the peg so that you don't have to pull as hard. You see, I don't have to, I don't have to do nothing. I don't have to crank it in or anything like that. The, the string, you see there, the string is kind of wrapped around like a helix, pushing towards towards the, the, the top, right? So when I crank it, the string is pushing itself. Makes it easier to tune. Yeah, the biggest thing when you're changing the strings, just make sure you don't let the string fly loose so that it can like slice your top, don't get any scratches on it, it's a big deal. Again, these aren't like numbered, so you won't really know which size is which. You just kind of have to know the gauge of the uh, of the string and know where it goes. So this is the A string, the A string. So the A string goes in the A hole. <laughs> off there so that it doesn't go anywhere so it doesn't slip so there's nothing more annoying than when you're playing a gig and one of your treble bass strings slips it's, it's annoying as hell so yeah you can see <clears throat> you want to make sure that you don't have any weird cross you know you're not you're not tying these strings like you would in a classical guitar or even a vihuela. You want to make sure the loops are flush with the uh, bridge. Make sure you get that so that you don't have any weird stuff cutting into the wood. Because there's enough tension there, trust me. It's, it's, the, the strings are long and they're very high gauge. So, ooh, look at that stuff. It's my favorite, one of my favorite things in the world. And so then you have the string all good. Again, make sure that it's kind of from the hole down, right? That way it creates the tension. And the same thing for these. Ooh, my food is on the way. I am hungry. So it's easy to tune. Boom, so that's about it. Got it all tuned up. See, I'm really thinking about getting the mechanical, you know, wooden pegs, man, because I know they're expensive. They're like, like 250, 300 bucks. But uh, as you can see, you know, cranking these things really it's a pain in the ass, so... Thanks a lot for watching, guys. It's just kind of a little random vlog, vlog, video. Please do like and subscribe to the video if you like just a random, off-the-wall, mariachi, you know, guitarron, whatever, Sunday video. You know, I try to do stuff that's not so overly organized and, you know, whatever. Um, hit that like button. Please, please do support the channel if you like the stuff that I'm doing on here and uh, subscribe. And uh, yeah, just general mariachi, armonia lifestyle right here, man. Just whatever it is. So, you guys have a good day and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.